when dealing with absolute value equations, all right, um, let's just go back and do a quick little review. All right, I'm gonna do a review on two sets. If I said the absolute value of x um, is equal to, uh, let's just do 3x is equal to 5, what we do is we set that up into two different, now uh, let's do 6. This is just a little quick little example. We set it up into two different, uh, two different terms. We can do 3x equals 6 and 3x equals negative 6. Right? Do you guys remember that? So when you have an absolute value, you have to make sure you find for both values. Because when we look at this, when we solved x equal 2 and x equals negative 2. Now, if I plug in a 2 in for x, that's a 3 times 2, which is 6. Absolute value 6 equals 6. And then when I plug in a negative 2, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. The absolute value of negative 6, though, is also 6. That's why we have two different versions of this. Do you guys make sense? So there's two different answers, right? So we have to apply the exact same thing for, for inequalities. There is one little difference, though. And you guys remember, when we're solving for inequalities, if I have an inequality and I divide by a negative number, right, we have to make sure that we flip the sign, right? So in an inequality, I'm not actually initially dividing like well, essentially kind of m, but when I'm cr creating my two circumstances, I'm going to have 5x plus 2 is greater than 23, and then I'm going to do 5x plus 2 is less than negative 23. So since I'm now creating this negative value, I got to make sure that I flip the sign to make sure it's going to still be correct. All right? So therefore, those are going to be my two circumstances now that I'm going to solve for. So now we just use our, um, we just use our techniques of solving. So I'll subtract 2, subtract 2. So I get 5x is greater than um, 21. Divide by 5, divide by 5 x has to be greater than 21 over 5. And then here, I subtract, subtract. 5x is less than negative 25. Divide by 5, divide by 5. x has to be less than negative 5. So x has to be greater than 21 over 5, but less than negative 5. OK? And they all work. Can you that as a No, just leave it. I mean, you're, this is for your EOC practice review. so. More than likely, you're going to be looking for your answer to be in a fractional form. If you have your answer in a decimal, though, then you'd want to convert it to a decimal, right? So just remember those two.